Okay, now in this exercise, um, they want us to solve the system if it has a solution. Um, now, sometimes a system can have infinitely many solutions, and in that case, that will be called a consistent dependent, or maybe it has no solution. In that case, it will be inconsistent. So, before we start the solving the system, let me actually go back and give you a preview or a review of uh, some vocabulary for systems. So, uh, consistent basically means that there's one solution or infinitely many. Um, many of the systems that we have come across, so we guys uh, can solve and find the x value and the y value, uh, and that's just one solution. That would be uh, independent, uh, consistent, independent. Okay, so one solution is consistent, independent. And an example for this would be uh, the guarantee exercise. Uh, 7x plus 3y equals negative 29 and negative x plus y equals 7 uh, you guys solved that system and you found one solution okay so that would be a consistent independent consistent dependent means that there are many or infinitely many solutions now Here's an example. Um, so an example of this is this equation 7x plus 3y equals negative 29. And the second equation is 14x plus 6y equals negative 54. So if you try to solve this system by using elimination, uh, by multiplying the first equation Okay, so this is the original if you multiply by negative 2 to get a new uh, Basically, I'm trying to cancel the x. So I want to have a 14 x here the new system Will be negative 14 x on the top minus 6 y plus 54 the second equation stays the same and you have a consistent dependent when when you guys try to solve you come across um, an equation basically so you have this equal sign and both sides are the same okay so when both sides are the same you get 0 equals 0 1 equals 1 and then you have this uh, type of system an inconsistent system has no solution and an example so let's move on to this guy and then an example would be something like 7x plus 3y equals negative 29. And this one, say, is 7x plus 3y equals 2. So this is the original. And if you are trying to solve this system, say, by multiplying... Uh, say I want to multiply the second equation. I want to get rid of x, so I multiply by negative one, and I get my new system becomes seven uh, x plus three y. The first one didn't change. The second one is negative seven x minus three y equals negative two, and then you add them. So what happens is when you guys try to uh, get rid of x. Uh, you actually also get rid of y, so this is 0 on the left, but then you get this equation, which is basically uh, something impossible. So when you guys come across an impossible um, expression like this, then you say that there's no solution. Okay? Alright. Now, let me go back to uh, this... Uh, system and show you that this one has infinitely many solutions uh, so this is the original so let me do the following let me change it by multiplying the first one by negative 2 I want to get rid of x so I multiply the first equation by negative 2 and I get negative 4x minus 6y equals negative 2 
Uh, the second one I don't want to change because I want to get rid of X and I have I already have the four, so I keep it this way. So when you guys add, you cancel the X, uh, you cancel the Y, so zero, and on the right hand side, negative two plus two is zero. When you guys come across this, which is always true, then you have a uh, what they call um, so conclusion this is uh, consistent dependent and this type of system has infinitely many solutions now um, you can still describe the set and the way you guys describe the set is uh, you put uh, this notation so those points x comma y okay and the idea is uh, you're supposed to describe uh, some something or give formulas for x and y and they're gonna be very picky in my lobs plus sometimes they'll say if they want everything with the y or everything with the next so in this case notice the last line says everything should be in terms of y so the y value stays the same so y is y okay but now x is going to be given by so this used to be x so we need to find a formula for x in terms of y and to find it you can use any of the original equations and solve for x isolate x and then write it in terms of y so let me use the first one let me isolate to x let me move the 3y to the other side let me divide by 2 and when i do this when i isolate x then in the solution you guys bring the formula so i use this formula and i write my solution my x is given by this okay expression and that's how you guys can represent the solution okay